Hey everyone, and welcome to Counter Buzz. I'm Greg Rosink, and I'm joined today by Ben Sachs, product manager here at Hunter Industries. We're talking about the revolutionary new Easy DT. Now, the Easy Decoder product has been out for quite a while now, and it's been very successful and very sought after. So, to tell us more about what the new revolutionary Easy DT is going to do for us, Ben Sachs, take it away. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, that was a perfect ex explanation. You know, the Easy DT is a complement to our Easy Decoder system that's been out for now almost two years now. And we're really trying to reinstill confidence in our Easy Decoder system by offering a tool like this to kind of help simplify maintenance and troubleshooting of two wire decoder systems. And the device itself is pretty small, handheld, battery operated, wireless, handheld diagnostic tool and programmer. Uh, that was predicated off of the original ICDHP that is used with ICD decoders. So if you guys are familiar with the ICDHP, there's a big cable that comes out of it and talks wirelessly to our ICD and dual decoders. The EZDT device is very similar and uses the same proprietary technology, technology to essentially help save time and labor on the job site, diagnosing potential wire issues, uh, wire connection issues, any sort of components going uh, awry in the system, this device makes it a whole lot easier on our users uh, to diagnose mystery problems in the field. Awesome. So what other products do we have that kind of accompany the EZDT? So that's a great point. So it, it's, it's all kind of a play on words. EZDT works primarily with the EZ decoder system. So if you guys are familiar with our single station EZ1 decoders, uh, obviously, the control system works with our ICC2 controller, our HCC, Hydrowise Enable controller, as well as our smaller Pro-C controller does also work with this easy decoder system. So the handheld diagnostic programmer works with all of those components um, and allows you to do diagnostic troubleshooting and a little bit of wired programming of individual decoders, which we can talk about in a little bit more detail from there. But essentially, the goal is to talk wirelessly from the device to your easy decoder in the field to learn a little bit more about the health of your system, potentially say your voltage on your two wire path, the current draw, what your station number is in that decoder, as well as if it's on or off. Because I mean, if you've troubleshot any sort of two wire system, it can be a little bit of ambiguity in the field, trying to figure out what's going on in between your host controller, the wiring in the ground, the wire connections, and then your decoders at each valve box. It's, it's a whole lot of wire in between there some plastic, some epoxy, a, a few uh, circuit boards in there. It's not the most intuitive product per se to know what's going on uh, when things aren't activating as they should be. So being able to talk from this device to a decoder wirelessly, literally through the bottom of the decoder, just like that, it'll tell you everything about it without the need to uninstall these guys from the two wire path. So that is a huge time and labor saver to try to figure out, hey, this is what's going on. This decoder, is, we thought it was programmed as station 15. This device is telling us it's actually programmed as station 20. We can reprogram and, and re-diagnose from there. So a lot of time and money savings and just really kind of helping to let customers know what's going on, what's been programmed, what needs to be adjusted in their existing system. And now the one question that I always get on this product is, is it like the ICDHP where I can just go and I can reprogram decoders in the field with it, or do I have to do it before I put it on the two wire path? So that's a great question. So I kind of joked earlier that the EZDT is like the little brother to the ICDHP uses the same proprietary electromagnetic induction wireless communication from decoder to the actual handheld device. But the EZDT itself is kind of a dumbed down version of the ICDHP. Anyone that's used the ICDHP will know that that thing will pay for itself in a day. It'll let you do all the decoder troubleshootings that you'd want to do on a site. It actually works as a wire tracer, wire or decoder programmer, a toner, voltmeter, amp clamp, all of the above. It can do all these things that multiple tools would be required to do otherwise. Um, so the ICDHP works with our higher end, more advanced ICD and dual decoder systems, whereas the EZDT, the goal of the entire easy decoder system for that matter is speed and simplicity. So we just needed a little bit of a dumbed down version to give us simple wireless diagnostics of what's going on with your decoder. And then it does give you the ability to program your decoders, but it requires a wired connection from the decoder to the, the handheld device. Fantastic. I think that's great to point out. Now, is there any other uh, knickknacks that you want to share with us that go along with the uh, easy decoder system? Yeah, sure. So, 
we are introducing a the latest and greatest in pointed stick technology, which is a completely reground recycled plastic decoder stick that is perfect for using with either either our ICD HP or our easy decoder system. And a perfect installation here in a, in a valve box, you got your easy one decoder upside down on a stake in a valve box. You pound that guy into the ground and then boom, you can talk wirelessly from your device in the valve box quickly and easily. Instead of having it covered in mud and buried underwater, you can have it up out of the, out of the mud and dirt and whatnot, upright, ready to be talked to quickly and easily out of the valve box. So our decoder stake, uh, product model Dex Stake 10 comes in 10 packs, um, works great with any of our decoder products, will fit any ICD dual or easy uh, one decoders. And like I said, works great with the wireless diagnostic and troubleshooting capabilities of our easy, easy DT and our ICD HP. So two main functions on that, keeping it up in the valve box out of the muck and the ability to just take your decoder programmer and go in there and just shoot it from the bottom. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every time you open up a valve box, there's always tends to be a surprise in there, whether it be snakes or spiders <laughs> or full of water, anything like that. Getting the decoders up out of the mud is a huge time saver and helps keep the uh, the product a little bit more reliable and robust. And like we just said, it's, it's easier to talk to with these wireless handheld devices. Going back to what we were talking about a little bit about programming the decoders, that also still helps. So we said, unlike ICDHP, you do have to connect directly to an individual easy one to program the decoder, having it up out of the valve box on that decoder stake helps removing those, uh, those wire connections, it makes it a lot easier and just helps streamline that process. So it still gives you a ton of flexibility for programming and reprogramming in the field, uh, not having to take the decoder out of the two wire path, walk all the way back to the controller, go through the reassigning process there. You can do that all in the valve box and in the field. So the decoder stake, easy one decoders, and the easy DT itself all work great together to help save time and money on the job site. All right, so one more question, and this is the million dollar question, cost. Is this gonna blow my budget if I add one of these to my, to my repertoire? Absolutely not. So like I said, the ICD HP is a magic tool that does pretty much everything you would want it to do in a, a troubleshooting environment and reprogramming environment with ICD systems. And that guy, it will pay for itself in a day just because of how much time it saves. The EZDT is over half the cost of an ICD HP. So it's very, very affordable, very, very convenient. Uh, and it will also pay for itself in a day when you're tracing sort of wire problems or wire connection issues or anything like that. Saving all that time and money, you only need one device to go from any sort of easy decoder system. So it's not like you need a individual easy DT for each project that you're managing. So you buy it once, you can use it all across the board and really reinstill confidence on those systems that you're installing. Awesome, Ben. I think this is a no brainer. Go out and get yourself an easy DT today. All right. Well, Ben, really appreciate you coming by to tell us more about the products. Really appreciate your time and it's good seeing you. All of Likewise. you on the call, thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you on the next episode of CounterBuzz.